All right, don't say to me hello unless you are a Muslim and you call me. Are you a Muslim? Please, guys, only if you are a Muslim. All right, let us see. Somebody he says he's a Muslim. Hello? Hello. Hello. Oh. Hello. Hello. Yes, my friend, you are live on air. You are a Muslim? Um, I was born uh, in the Muslim country and my mother is Muslim. I don't understand. You are a Muslim from a Muslim country? I'm from a uh, Muslim country, yes. And you are a Muslim? I'm Muslim. All right. I... How old are you? How old are you, if you don't mind? Hold on. What? Uh, how, old, you how old are you? How old are me? How old me? How old, how old are you? How old are you? Twenty first. Twenty? Twenty first, yes. Twenty one you mean. Okay. So are you from Indonesia are you from Indonesia? Yes, right. All right, what do you want uh, to say, my friend? Go ahead. I'm listening. Uh okay. I I read your book because my father uh recommend me your book. Your your father? <laughs> My father recommend your book. Why your father recommend my book? You are a Muslim. Isn't he a Muslim too? No. Because yeah. of my father, my father uh, then uh, the truly my father don't believe don't believe in Muhammad, you know. Oh okay. But yeah. Okay and okay. and uh, the time that I read your book and uh, the uh, transfer of Quran transfer to Indonesia, it's uh, wrong, you know, like Fakina don't read as Fakina. I don't understand. What? Hello? What? I don't understand what you said translation wrong you mean my translation is wrong uh, no no the Quran Quran translation to Indonesia oh okay as as your as your uh, right in book okay okay but I I job in uh, Muhammad as a prophet you know but my question is uh, how how dangerous is Islam, you know? How dangerous, how dangerous is Islam? How, how dangerous if you left Islam? No, how dangerous is Islam where you, where you uh, say that Islam is the false religion and then how dangerous is Islam? I don't know. I'm trying to understand. So I, yeah, I say Islam is a false religion, and what, mm -hmm. and what, what do you want to ask me? Okay, and you, you can uh, open the Quran, chapter nine, at Tawbah. Okay, at Tawbah, chapter nine, verse number twenty-nine. Uh, number twenty-nine. Okay. I read the. I read the Tafsir Ulama. Uh -huh. What, what uh, chapter 9, what verse? Uh, verse 29, as you said. Okay. okay. And then, what about it? Uh, Muslim have to pay jizya. The Christian, they have to pay jizya, not Muslims. Yes, non-Muslim. Hmm. Non-Muslim have to pay this year yeah and the tafsir of the tafsir of 
I read the tafsir of uh, Quraisy Shihab, hmm. Indonesian ulama. Okay. He read um, Chishia means text. Text. No, that's false. You can right. read if you want. Uh, do you do you Indonesian have a Nikathir in, in Indonesian language? No. You don't have a Nikathir in Indonesian language? No. I don't have. Okay, we have somebody, his name is Imper. Text me Imper, maybe you can join the conversation and translate. So if you search, if you try to search Ibn Kathir in English, you will see uh, that Ibn Kathir said clearly that the Christians, they have to pay that because they are filthy and they refuse to convert to Islam. You don't pay tax because you are filthy. And he's made it clear that the Caliphate Omar, this is why the Caliphate Omar, he commanded the Muslim not to respect the Christian and not to treat them nicely. In fact, the opposite, and he to treat them in a miserable way because they are not accepting Prophet Muhammad. So this is not tax because people pay tax and nobody will spit at you and nobody will humiliate you and nobody will make fun of you. You pay tax like everybody. But Christians are not equal citizens in their own land after the Muslims occupy it. Christians, they are treated very miserably. And we can open right now Ibn Kathir in English and we can read for you. I can give you I can give you the link of Ibn, okay. Ibn Kathir and you can maybe translate use Google translation to translate to uh, your Indonesian language is that okay okay all right so if we go in chapter 9 Ibn Kathir I will put it for you in the screen and then we go to verse number 29 I will uh, give you the page in a second here we go uh, so this is the page of Ibn Kathir, I will put it on the screen. Uh, and, I, and I will send you the link. Are you, are you a male or a female? I'm female. Okay. Uh, this is the link. This is the link, I'm sending it to you. Alright. Why don't let your, uh, your father join us, the one who recommend my book? Invite him. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, so here you, okay. here you see Ibn yes. Kathir, you can open the link, okay. use Google browser, and you will see Ibn Kathir explain how and why the Muslim should not respect and treat the Christian nicely. In fact, the Prophet said, if a, if a Muslim, he meet a Christian or a Jew in the street, he have to force him to walk in the sewage. So if we go down here, it says the following, that paying jizya is a sign of disgrace and feel themselves subdued, I am in, there's, uh, you can read the tra translation here, uh, like, you know, when those Christians, you see them in the streets, you have to make them, uh, you know, uh, you know, like uh, subdued, you have to make fun of them, you have to insult them, and here, read with me carefully, paying jizya, is a sign of kufr and disgrace. It's not tax. Tax people pay tax. It's not a sign of disgrace. Do you see it? Oh. And prepare this army to fight the Romans and kill to people no, to Go Jesus. down. Go down where it says jizya in the page, almost in the middle oh. of the page. Sign it says jizya is a sign of kufr and Chris. See, so the, the, the sheikhs who said to you it's a tax, he's a liar. Because Indonesian they pay tax, right? But doesn't mean that they are going to be disgraced for paying tax. Actually, in fact, if you pay tax, that means you are a good citizen and nobody will disgrace you. If you don't pay tax, then you will be disgraced. Here, if you pay it, that means you are disgraced. So they lie when they say this is just a tax. Yes. It says here, until they pay the jizya, if they don't choose to embrace Islam. And then he says here, with willingly submission, in defeat. They are defeated. And here he says, mm -hmm. disgraced, humiliated, bit, uh, bitterled. Therefore, Muslims are not allowed to honor the people of the Dhamma, which means the Christian and the Jews, or mm -hmm. elevate them 
above the Muslims. For the unmeasurable, disgraced, emulated, Muslims recorded, etc., that the Prophet says, if you meet a Christian or a Jew in the street, force him to the most narrow alley, which means the sewage. In the old days, there was a line in the side of the road, which is a sewage at that time, like an open line, you know, like a deep uh, hole, go around, like uh, all along with the road, in the side of the road, where dirty water go there. So if a Christian and a Muslim walk in, when they met, the Christian should jump in the dirty sewage, so he will be disgraced, for he refused to accept Muhammad as a prophet. Mm -hmm. So what do you think? You want to stay as a Muslim? Mm. You know, uh, my my father and my mother is uh, are spread away because because my father believe uh, not believe in Islam and my mother believe in, in Islam and I live now I live with my mother because my mother is Islam and my mother uh, don't don't want me to to leave Islam you know. Your mother, she want me to stay as a Muslim or leave Islam? Yes. Yes, what? My I, I, mother want to me to stay Islam. Stay Islam, Muslim. Okay. But what you? What about you? You want to stay as a Muslim? What do you think? Do you think Islam is a good no. religion? So why you don't? No, why? but uh, yeah. not a good religion. But uh, I don't think Islam is dangerous for for any religion. I just showed you that Islam, Islam. so now if Islam will be practiced in Indonesia, you Indonesian Muslims should spit at the Christians, beat them, humiliate them, and disrespect them. So and you say to me, Islam is not a religion of, uh, is not dangerous? And even, uh, even you kill them. Your, can you repeat what you were saying before? I'm saying, I just showed you Ibn Kathir, giving yes. interpretation for the verse says, that and the Muhammad said, if you see a Christian or a Jew in the street, you should treat them miserably, disrespect them. And that verse is speaking about killing them. If they don't pay jizya, if they don't pay money, kill them. So Islam is a gang. Gang, they come to the store of a guy, he opened a store, they say to him, pay us to protect you, otherwise we will kill you. So no. what do you mean Islam is not dangerous? But, no, no, but I... I don't think like that. So, because of uh, my my life world is Islam. My life world is Islam, and uh, there is uh, many good Muslim. You know. I don't care many how many Muslim. good Muslim there is. There's nothing is called good Muslim. Good Muslim is a terrorist. If you are not a terrorist, you are not a good Muslim. Oh, what? Yeah, a good Muslim is someone who hates the Christian and the Jews and the Hindus and he hates everybody. Yeah. Okay. Okay, I will, I, will, I will go. So you say to me, your father is not a Muslim no more, correct? Okay. Do you love your father? Do you love your father? I don't hear you. Get close to the microphone, please. Get it close to the microphone. I cannot hear you no more. What happened? I, I love my father, absolutely. You, 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 father. you love your father, right? Yes. All right. But that means you are not a Muslim. <laughs> no. No. What happened? I know that in Quran, right? In Al Maida. Huh? In, in the chapter Al Maida. Al Chapter Al Maidah, verse I don't know. Uh, I forget uh, verse, but yes, uh, Muslim don't to know to uh, not interact with uh, non-Muslim, right? No. Even if the Quran even if in chapter he, chapter fifty-eight, verse number twenty-two, the Quran says. You will not find any good Muslim who believe in Allah, any Muslim who believe in Allah, love those who oppose Allah. Who is the one who oppose Allah? Your father. He just asked you to read my book. Yeah. 
So do you love your father or you don't love your father now? <laughs> well, you know, uh, any scholar in Indonesia don't, don't teach that. I don't care about, I, I just showed you a verse in the Quran. What scholars? <laughs> Maybe uh, different tafsir in... You can read yes. all tafsir, no problem. You will not find, the Quran is so clear, you will not find any believing person in Allah and His Messenger loving those who oppose Allah, even if they are their father, their mother, their brothers, their sons, their daughter, their sisters. It says that in front of you. So you should leave Islam because you love, actually you left Islam already because you love your father. <laughs> do do okay. you see, do you see how evil Islam is? Why you don't love your father? What's wrong? Is your father, did he do something bad to you? No. Okay. So why you, why you, why you cannot love him? Yeah. It's true that Muslim uh, must do, must do, uh, Obey the Quran like that. Yeah, yeah. If you don't obey, that means you don't understand. It's, it says in front of you, you will not find anyone who believe in Allah and the last mm -hmm. day loving those who oppose Allah. You will not find. So if you find, that means he is not a believer. And you said you love your father. So you are not a believer. You are out of Islam. I'm happy for you. You just left Islam. Yeah, I know. Are you happy because you left Islam now? Not because, because my mother still... Well, let her talk to me, I will talk to her. Bring your mother, where's your mother? Oh, no, no. My mother is asleep. And, and she cannot in this language. Why you don't let her talk to me? You can translate to her if you don't speak English. She's sleep in Indonesia. This is a very late night in Indonesia. Late night time. This. I understand. Anyway, what do you think about accepting the Messiah as your savior? Do you do you love the Messiah? I I don't know about Christianity. I don't know. You do not, you do not know. Twenty years. Yes, twenty years. I am a Muslim. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Well, what, what do you want? To, well, what do you what do you think about the Messiah? The Quran says he can raise people from death. He can heal. He can resurrect. Uh, you know the death dead one. Uh, make the blind see. He can tell you what you hide in your houses. Even he can create from the mud the bird. Is that correct? Yeah. Correct. Okay, but isn't it this is mean that Jesus is the creator? Yeah, I know. So. Yeah. Shouldn't you worship? Shouldn't you worship? Yeah. Shouldn't you worship you said, the Creator? You said Quran is, you said is Quran is false. But uh, when Messiah make make bird from uh, from sin, is it true? Well, I believe that the Messiah he is the Creator. But I believe the story about creating a bird is a false story. However, that will not change the fact that the Messiah is a Creator. Why? Because when the Messiah, as an example. He gave eyes to the, dead, to the blind man. He created eyes. He's a creator. When he resurrected other person from death, Ila Azar, he is a, a creator because you create life again. You know, you give life. The body decay. When you, when a person he die right away, body will start decay. And in order to give a body life again, you have to have, give him new creation. So the Bible confirmed that Jesus is a creator, and the Bible says everything created by him and for him. So yes, Jesus is the creator. Regardless of the story of the Quran, I'm using the Quran just to show you that even the stupid Quran could not deny that Jesus is the creator. But shouldn't you now, as long as you decide to leave Islam, worship Jesus who is the creator who created you? Uh, in Islam, when, when people non believe in Allah, non believe in Allah, that is uh, go to hell. What about in Christian? I don't know. Well, don't worry about Allah. I laugh at Allah and I, 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 I'm sure I will not go to hell. In fact, the Quran says every Muslim will go to hell. Don't you know? <laughs> yes. In Maryam verse 71, right? Uh-huh. 
So you read the Quran? Uh, a little bit. Ah, okay. So, uh, you know, we have a verse, ما منكم إلا واردها it says not even a single Muslim, but he will enter hell. So in Islam, there is no salvation. In Christianity, uh, you know, we have a promise from the Lord, the Messiah. And as long we, you know, we have witnesses that the Messiah, he raised people from death. Well, he can raise us from death and he can give us life. The one who can give life once, he can give it again. <laughs> Correct? No. So why you don't accept the Messiah as long as he is a creator? So what is left? What make God God? But why Messiah live in uh, in in non in modern modern day like this? What what? Why Messiah not live in this day? You know. Well, the Messiah, he will, he, the Messiah, he will come when time to, for him to come. Everything have timing. Everything have timing. Like you know, do, uh, uh, do you eat bread in Indonesia? What? Do you eat bread in Indonesia? Yes. Okay. If you notice, if a uh, uh, bread, what, what, how they make a bread? They bring a flour. They mix it yeah. with water. They add uh, some. Uh, 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 like some people they add uh, oil, some people they add salt, some people they add many things. But if you eat the da, it's, it's disgusting. If you try to eat it before you cook it in the oven, and before you give it time uh, uh, to be ready, the da will taste so bad, you cannot eat it. But then, when it is, when it is time, the bread will become bread, and then that bread will become delicious. So this is how life is, the plan of God, that everything happen on time. And when the time for the bread of life, which is the Messiah, come, then we will see him and he will save us. So he will come back, even in the stupid Quran says that the Messiah right now in heaven. Correct? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Anything if you Which eat... Question? If you eat, eat. If, a, me. if a woman, if a woman, she gave delivery for a baby before it's time, the baby might be sick or maybe die. Correct? Right. Everything have a time. Then the Messiah will come when it's time for him to come, and that will be in the day of judgment. And then he will judge you, and judge your father, judge your mother, judge your country, judge me, judge the whole world. So if you wanna if you wanna be with the true loving Lord, the one who can save you and save your family, that is the Messiah. Um, what do uh, you think? Muhammad linked link to uh, love to wear. Yeah. Uh, Muhammad is what? Muhammad what? Link to he he described to love war. He, he love he love war. war. Muhammad he love war, women and sex. You know Muhammad. No no. Yeah. Love war war we uh love w w a r. Love war you mean? Yes war. Yeah, but he do war for the sake of uh, sex. He said, attack the Romans so you can get the blonde girls. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Right. As long as you know my book, so at, attack the Roman, get the blonde girls. He don't love war because he love Allah. He love war so he can get blonde women. And he is racist. He like, he did not promise them Asian women. He want, All of them, they want white women in the heaven. In the heaven, you know that women in heaven will be white, correct? All right. Okay, so, what, 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 what's wrong with the Asian? Why, yeah. why he don't say they, you will have Asian women? What's wrong with the Asian? What about the black women? They are not good looking? Yeah. There's good, there's good sure. there good looking everywhere. It doesn't matter if you are Asian or black or white. As an example, yeah. I am white, but I don't, I'm not good looking. I look scary. I don't think Allah will promise uh, women in heaven someone like me. That would be scary. 
So if, uh, if Muhammad is a prophet of God, he will not tempt his men to go to war just for the sake of a blonde woman. He's racist. Even boys in heaven, they will be white. Even, even when the, the beast come back, the, 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 the beast, he will make people black and white. There's even, no even Asian, black and white. <laughs> what, do, what do you like to be, by the way, black or white? Uh, I like the smart, smart men. Like. You like what? No, 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 you, you. I'm not, asking you I'm not asking you what men you like. I'm saying, what do you like to be yourself? Like when you go to heaven of Allah, if you oh. if you go, you would like to be black or white? Because black will go to hell according to Muhammad. To be like me, of course. Oh. To be like me in oh. to be like you. You, you don't want to be neither black or white. You want to be you. That's a good answer. That's wonderful. So what do you think? Do you want to stay? As, uh, I mean, you you left Islam now, but uh, you are, you are not being saved yet. You you know, if I am you, I will accept the Messiah as your savior. What do, you, what do you think about the Messiah? Don't you think he's amazing? He is the one. Did you, did you try to read the Bible? No. Why don't try? Yeah. Why don't? I don't have time. Maybe because I just, your, uh, just finished read your book. So you read my book in English or in Indonesian language? In Indonesian language. Oh, okay. Why you don't read it in Ind Indonesian? We have Indonesian copy. No, in Indonesian language, I say. Ah, uh, Indonesian language, okay. Okay, well, I, I'm, I'm, I'm very happy that your father, he asked you to read my book, and now today you left Islam, but I will be more happy for you if you accept the Messiah as your savior. Yeah, I will, I will read uh, the Bible and learn to it. So what do you think about the Messiah? When the, when the Bible speaks about the man, he should love his wife. What do you think about that? Where, where in the Quran it says, love your wife? The Quran says, beat your wife. <laughs> uh, I don't know. Yeah. What do you think? And why, why the Bible teach that men and women in heaven, they will be the same, they will be equal? Yeah. So, think, what do you think? I think every religion, Christianity, yes. Christianity is not a religion. Christianity is a life, is not a religion. Christ, mm -hmm. Christ is our Lord, is not a priest of a religion. He is, he is the, he is the, in the maker, the creator. He is the son of God, and he is the savior. So we don't follow our religion. We are following the savior. Mm -hmm. Do you mind if I show you, uh, if you, if you can, uh, you can um, search Tafsir al Misbah, which is, uh, that is written by, by Quraysh Sihab, and to that, uh, verse number 29, uh, chapter 9, he says, that Jishia is tax and when you say that is my, my 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 sister those are liars i just showed you ibn kathir not a potato sheikh from indonesia who don't dare to call me <laughs> those are liars they don't even speak arabic do even they speak arabic how they can explain the quran how somebody can explain a book he can't even read Yeah, isn't it, you know, if you go right now, you, there's tons of videos, Muslims speaking about jihad, killing non-Muslims, uh, you know, and we showed you the Quran, and the Quran is so clear, why, why actually, in fact, why we need even interpretation for a book which is God, which is Allah, he said, I'm, he made it clear, isn't it the Quran, isn't it the Quran says that Allah made the Quran clear? Correct? Okay, 
So if Allah made the Quran clear, and then we need a million interpretation to make the clear Quran clear. That means the Quran is clear. That means Allah is a, is a joke. Yeah. Correct? I agree with you. Yeah. I agree with you. So all of those, you know, uh, all of those is a joke. Either either Allah, he made it clear, or he, you know, he did not uh, make it clear. And you will notice that every Muslim, not a single Muslim, agree with the other Muslim. Yeah. So the Quran have a fabrication. Can, can, can we even understand anything in the Quran? Nothing is understood. Nothing. Do you speak Arabic? No. But isn't it the Quran says we made it in Arabic to make it clear for you? Maybe I, I read it, maybe. No, no, no. I, I'm saying. If the Quran yeah. saying, if the Quran saying, Allah made the Quran in Arabic, so you as a Muslim can understand, is that a wise statement? No. no, how, no how, the, how the Muslim, how the Muslim they say that the Quran was sent by Allah for all mankind, and then the Quran itself saying, we made the Quran in Arabic, so you might understand. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, we. We have to pray, we have to salat in Arabic language. I, I think <laughs> why we have to salat in Arabic language? Because, because this is a because this is a racist religion. The Arab they dominate you, they control you, and now even your name is Arabic, even your prayer in Arabic, and a language you don't understand. So you yeah. say you say things to Allah, you yourself you cannot even understand. Stupid religion. I will make a prayer now. What is that? I don't understand what I'm saying myself. I don't understand what I'm saying. So how I can pray? In, you know, right? And how the Quran is sent by Arabic, so you might understand. And then most of Muslims don't even know an Arabic word. This is a stupid religion. Even the, even the Quran says Allah never sent a messenger except in the tongue of his people. So, I can be, according to the Quran, a messenger uh, to, to the Arab because I speak Arabic. But I cannot be a messenger for the Indonesian. So how Muhammad became your messenger? Indonesian has uh, profit. <laughs> Indonesian has Indonesian uh, must have a profit, not uh, Arabic profit. Okay. I understand. Anyway, well, my, my sister, I'm happy for you that you left Islam, but I would like you to accept the Messiah as your Savior. Because, listen, you are young, yes. You said you are 21 years old. Uh, that means you are older than me, you know. Uh, mm. So you are like my older sister. And now, what if tomorrow me or you die? You will go to hell because you are not saved. So why don't accept the Messiah as your Lord? I I want to learn. I want to learn it. Okay. Uh, do you have some Christian Indonesian friends? No. You don't? In your no. area there is no Christian Indonesian? There is only Muslims? What? You, you don't have like anyone uh, a Christian can explain to you the Bible? No, no. No, I don't have. Uh, okay, well, I want you to uh, keep listening to my channel. And if you have a question, read the Bible. And you can text me. Usually, I don't allow people to text me. But you can text in the chat, you know, here. And you can ask me the question. I will try to remember your name. It's better to text me in Skype too, just to tell me, hey, I am the one 
I called you before because I got a lot of people calling me and I don't remember the uh, people. Greetings. I think I think there is I think there is a channel uh, in Discord. Uh, Christians they go there, Indonesian Christian, and maybe they can help you. Who, who is it? Who is Indonesian in the in the from the admins here? Who is Indonesian from the admins? We have uh, Lisa. She is Indonesian. I don't know if she's in the chat. And we have Carolina. And I'm not sure yeah. who else. So maybe if you speak to the admins in the chat, they can uh, you can join them. Okay. Okay. Maybe. And, and there is there is a person. His, his name is Imper in the chat. Uh, you know, Imper, why you don't call me? Imper seven to seven. Can you call? Call my call. Skype. Okay. Yeah. So I will, I, will, I will see if I can find you somebody to contact you and okay. uh, speak to you. And please don't exchange private information. There's no need for you to ask them about who, where they live, who they are. And no need for you to tell anyone who you are too. All right? Okay. Don't trust anybody. Be careful. <laughs> okay. Yeah, yeah. There's, there's, a lot of, there's a lot of evil people. No, don't laugh. There's a lot of evil people. Yeah. Yeah. Remember that. I. Yeah. When I was kid, I go to madrasa, go to uh, school, learn Quran. You know, learn how to read Quran. When I kid, I was to go to school, go to school and learn read Quran and. Uh, hear what what the what the scholar saying what the ustad saying and now i don't know okay uh emperor you said you texted me i don't see you text your text oh, okay not not you not you there's a person he want to join us uh, uh he, he want to join us because he is indonesian I don't know if it's he or she. Um, Emperor, uh, just uh, text this account here. All right. Uh, okay. I, I will invite a person to join to join me. Okay. All right. And let us see how we can invite somebody to conversation. Uh, add a person. Give me a minute, I'm trying to find the person. Uh, okay. Well, if you don't want your name to be known, the one who texts me in Skype, then you change your name before I make you join the conversation. Change your name. Change your name before I, sh I, I make you join the conversation. Okay. Not, not you, not you. You don't have a name anyway, you know, in your Skype. Yeah, we will continue talking until until they change the name, and then I will make them join. So, listen, do you have any question about the Bible you want like me to answer you? No, oh, I didn't. 
What do you I think? What, what do you think about? What do you think about Mary? Maria. Maria, yeah. Yeah. What do you think she's, about Maria? She's a good, good woman. Only good woman. What do you want? Well, say? look, you know, Mary, Mary, uh, yeah. uh, in the Quran. Uh, yeah. She is the only one chosen by God yeah. for a message from heaven, correct? Correct. If there is any woman in the world, in Islam, she have such a thing? Such an honor? No. So Mary is not just a good woman. There is many good women. <laughs> right? Yeah. I think you are a good woman too. Thanks. Okay, so, but uh, obviously... This is there is something more than just good women. Mm, the person went to to uh, get the what, what? Why Mary? Why Mary? She was a virgin when she gave birth. When she like when she received the gift from God, which is the Messiah. Uh, uh, how? Why she was virgin? Did you to ask uh, your sheikh why, okay, the Messiah, he was a, a God, a gift to Mary, and she have a child, but why she was a virgin? Why he, why he don't, Abraham, Abraham, he have a children from his wife, right? Right. Okay, and it was a gift from God too. I mean, Abraham, his wife, she cannot have babies, but why only Mary is the only woman in the world, she was a virgin, yet she is giving birth, because she is holy. Because she's holy, amazing. That's beautiful. The Quran. If we go in the Quran, in chapter nineteen, yeah. it says that the gift that when the angel came to Mary, they said to her, to give to you the gift of a holy son. Correct. Correct. Right. Okay. Is, the, is Muhammad a holy son? No. <laughs> right. Yeah. We cannot compare between Muhammad and the Messiah. This is an insult to the Messiah. But just because you are coming from a Muslim family, I'm um, just to show you. So even the Quran confirmed that the Messiah is holy son. Holy son of whom? Who is his father? I don't hear you. No one is her father. No one is her father. No one. No one. Okay, but how is that possible that nobody have? I mean, he is born. If there's anyone beside Messiah is born, but he have no father. No, no, and only only Messiah. What's wrong with him then? So Messiah is is different from everybody. He is the only one is holy. He is the only one right now in heaven. He is the only one is still alive. He is the only one born of a virgin. He is the only one. Who can make the blind see? He is the only one who can resurrect people from death. He is the only one who can make the one who cannot walk walk. I mean, what is left? He is the only one who can create from the mother bird. He's a creator. So what is left? Yeah. If I am you, I will accept the Messiah as my savior because there is nothing left. What is left? A description for God. And the Bible complete the mission. The Bible make it clear that the Messiah forgives sin. The Messiah is the resurrector. The Messiah is the one who has the power over the flesh. And he is the Son of God. So what do you think about accepting the Messiah as your Lord? Okay. You want to accept him? Maybe yes. I mean, to I, that I want to ask uh, in the real life Christianity. You want to accept want Christ Christ you want to accept Christianity? Maybe yes. All right, I'm happy for you, my sister. Here we go. Now you are my sister in Christ. So, do you believe that the Messiah is your Lord and your Savior? Yeah. I mean, to that. Yeah. So, and you reject Muhammad? He is a false prophet. Yeah, I, I don't believe Muhammad is Wonderful. a prophet. I'm so happy for you, my friend. I'm going to let somebody talk to you. 
But uh, yeah. be before I, uh, you know, to, uh, let him join us, yeah. uh, let us see. I will, I will let the person, uh, I will call you back in a second, okay? Okay. All right. I want to be sure that this person is a Christian before I share the identity. Hello? 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 All right, my friend, you are, you are a Christian? Hello? Hello? I hear you. Should I close YouTube? Okay, you can close. You know, it's okay. You know, I, I'm not going to let you join to talk to her because you are a male. I thought you are a female. I prefer a female to talk to her. Uh, let me call her again. I will find somebody, a female from Indonesia to call her. Yes, uh, you know, I will, I will uh, maybe uh, either today or tomorrow, I will let somebody contact you, a Christian, from those who Indonesian who live in, maybe in the state, and they can help you, you know, in uh, like to keep in touch with you and, uh, uh, you know, to help you if you have any questions, and you can join them in like Bible study. Yeah. Okay, good? Okay, yeah. I will. I'm happy for you, and I will, I will find you somebody for sure. Okay. All right. And if you want Thanks. to bring, if you want to bring your mother to talk to me, I will be happy to talk to her, even in private. Okay. 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 But like, you have to be both of you. I don't talk in private to a female alone. You have to be you and your mother or your dad there. All right. Okay. All right. Well, I'm happy for you, sister. And look, the and people in the chat, they are so happy for you and they are praying for you. And I ask all the Christians to to. Uh, uh, to pray to our sister, I cannot say any name, I don't even see her name anyway. Uh, we pray for her, we pray for her family, we pray for her mother, to see the truth, and the truth will set her free. We pray that the Lord will make this, 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 uh, this lady uh, a messenger between her family and to bring people to Christ, and she will be loving. And remember, you have to love your parents, even the Muslim mother, she is a, she is a Muslim, yes, but still you have to love her, the Messiah. You. taught us to love our parents and to love everybody even our enemies you know yeah. so you love your mother nothing will change and you try because you love her because you love your people you know we love Indonesian people because you love them yeah. we want them to accept the Messiah so we can be all of us in heaven together as one family doesn't matter what color we are doesn't matter what ethnic and doesn't matter what language we speak yeah all right my sister thank you and God bless you uh, the uh, the last one. Do, I hope. Yeah. Do you I have... hope you. I hope you will debate with debate with uh, ulama Indonesia. Well, I, let, I really no problem. I would love to, but you see those are potatoes. Yeah. They, they don't dare to call me. What I can do? If if you can if, if you can find their Skype, any of those they call themselves stars, I will call them. Just give me their Skype. Oh. You know. Yeah. Yeah. You can you can send them email like don't use your name a fake email and send them uh, he starts do you have a Skype I want to talk to you you know uh, you know he's very popular they are very popular they they uh, maybe they don't uh, read my email so well well if you yes. if you if you uh, uh, you know they are racist as usual so uh, you can like. Uh, uh, usually, if they find like a, a profile of a woman, she is blonde and uh, wearing short skirt, right away they will respond. You know, they will respond. Yeah. No, no, no. No, no, I'm telling you, this is the Muslim sheikh. This is who they are. You know, they say sister, sister, the second they see a short skirt, you know. So if you put for them an, a, a profile, I'm not asking you to lie, but this is how they are. They might not respond to you, but if it's a blonde woman, she is white, she is wearing short skirt, all the stars in the world, they will respond immediately. 
Yeah, this is the Absolutely. truth. Yeah, they are like their prophet, you know, they are like, uh, they are the same as Muhammad. Are they going to be better than Muhammad? No. They will not. You know, Muhammad, he went to, Muhammad, he went to his own son wife and he flirted with the wife in her husband's house. Yeah. All right, sister. Well, I will be happy. To, you can anytime send me an a Skype of any stars you know. And you sit and watch and you will see how they will run away from me, those cowards. Okay, thank you, Chibi. All right, okay, God bless you. Yes. Bye bye. All right. We have a Muslim, he is trying to call me, or he said, Call me, I will expose you. <laughs> really? Huh? Yeah. He will expose me. That's deep. Well, don't call me in a group. Call me as an individual. Text me as an individual. What is your name? Use your name, any name. They call yourself Muslim potato. I don't care. But why you are making a group? You can call me, and the other person call me, and the other person call me. Group. Potatoes. Do we have any brave Muslim would like to join us? Here we go. This is a, this is a Muslim Muslim. Hello. LC Pig. <laughs> what? LC Pig. Yeah. So now your name is a Muslim now. Yes, for sure. You are a Muslim. Loka, so you are a Muslim, right? Why you lie to me first time? You're a blocker. You're a blocker. <laughs> why, you, why you lie to me? Why you lie to me? What do you mean why I lie to you? I have been calling you. Okay. You have not been picking. Oh, you're answering. Oh, okay. So what do you want to say to us? Your sister, she just left Islam. What do you think? Okay. Firstly, let me... I will... We are going to debate about the lies that you like to have. But firstly, let me tell you that... Um, no, give me the first the lie. Give, give me the first lie. Okay. You said that uh, the Quran teaches that uh, Jesus is God. No, I did not say that, that. I did not say that. You said that. You said that the Quran says that Jesus raised the dead. So if I said, dead, I said, I said, the Quran said that Jesus is the creator, correct? No. Okay, let us debate. You speak for your time, I speak for okay. my time, and I will debunk you. No, no, we talk in the same time. You can talk in the same time. Let's go to the verse, can we? We talk at the same time. Why are you running? Challenge, okay. simple challenge. Okay, we are, we are. We, we, what happened to you? Take it easy. We will go to the verse. Oh, we want to put equal time. We want what, to why, the time why you are upset? Why are you upset? Because we want to speak for time limits. You know, you talk. Because I know you take okay, this. You, can you, talk. Gonna... you are talking. Nobody block you. You are talking. So now, can we read the okay. verse? You will block me. You I, will block I'm not me. I'm blocking you. You are talking. Stop crying. Okay, let us, one minute, one minute, one okay. minute, one minute. Okay, there's nothing, you talk, you talk, okay. Can you tell me the verse about Jesus creating things in the Quran? Okay, let us go to the verse and I school you. Okay, but don't speak fast so I can understand you. Okay, only if you can let me okay, talk what, for okay, one minute. Okay, what, what is the verse? Which verse we are talking about? Okay, let us go to the verse, Quran chapter 3, verse 49. Okay, what the verse saying? The verse says that Jesus did not, it is not a live bird that he created. He created a mood bird. Don't, don't speak fast. Speak slow so I can understand you. Okay, I said the verse says hmm. that Jesus did not create a live bird. He created a mood bird. A bird from mood. And what? He created right? what? Created what? A bird from a, a bird. Clay. A bird, yeah, a bird. Okay, a bird. Okay, from mud. Yes, not a real bed. It is a clear bed from mud. You know, like people okay. used to do. Okay. How Allah? How Allah created Adam? Allah created Adam from dust. From and he said to him, from, Okay. In the Quran, Allah He said He created Adam from dust. Yes. Can you show me the verse? Three fifty-nine. Three fifty-nine. Okay. Read it for us. Okay, in Allah, in Masali Isaiah Allah, the likeness of Jesus in the sight of Allah, Kamasali Adam, uh -huh. is just like that Adam. He created him from dust. 
where it where it says uh, dust you are facing it it says to rob yes the to rob is dirt so you mean dirt yes it's still something oh uh, uh, okay so when allah he created adam from dirt is it was dirt or he make it mud clay he was first made from clay after okay. that, he said well, him be under. Okay, but uh, so so what is the problem then? I ask you, how Allah created Adam? You said to me from uh, dust. Yes. Okay, but isn't the Quran says in different verse Allah created Adam from a clay too? Clay, a clay means with water is is uh, a exactly. Is so Jesus, he, so Jesus, he made mixed dirt with water and he made a clay. Do we agree? Yes. Uh -huh. and, and what he did next after that? Did not. He, he breathed air into it. And he, then. Uh, hold on. I did not hear you. Did you just say that Jesus, he breathed into it? Yes, he breathed into it. So uh -huh. what, what, came, what came from the breath of Jesus when he breathed? It is hair. It's what? Hair. What, what hair? Yeah. Hair. Yes, for sure. What hair? What do you mean hair? What do you mean? Oxygen for sure. Oh, what, what? Oh, you mean what? you mean you mean air, air. Okay. So uh, Jesus, he from his chest, air came, and that is life. Correct? No. The verse says, and it becomes a breath with the permission of God. So it is God who commanded that. No, we will go. We will go to the second part one by one. You are trying to analyze one by one. So now Jesus, he no. Jesus, he breathed. You said what comes from his chest is air. Okay, what the air did? I did not do anything. I wait for the permission of God. God now. The air, the air do nothing. So why he breathe? He breathe air as a form of a miracle. What? Then, what? 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 Uh, what? What the air did? The the Messiah he breathed air into the mud. Correct. Yes. Okay. And what the air did? You said did nothing. So why he breathe air? That is why I'm trying to tell you. Let me finish, Christian uh, Prince. Uh huh. After he breathed the hair uh -huh. to make it to make uh, to impress the people to do, to do what to do what to do what to do what I said then God commanded the mood that before 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 mood. before before hold on it's, it's slowly slowly don't don't speak fast I don't understand you so Jesus now he breathed air into the empty form of the bird like outside is a clay inside him is empty what is the air with Jesus he did inside the bird what that do that the, the clay bird what that air did you said nothing correct the hair did not it's just like okay so uh, why so why so why he was blowing he was whistling why he breathed air because because people are there you know jesus is not going to go he's want to make them to believe in god or my because Jesus. because because so, what because 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 what so jesus he breathed air uh, is he faking it is it fake it is not faking so it's the miracle. no 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 hold on when the bird became alive it's after jesus he breathed into the bird right yes it, okay after yeah now i wanna i wanna ask you in the front of everybody does it say in the ver yeah. in the verse anything about air yes he breathed into it what did he breathe where what it says what, where it says air what what can human be brief okay guys I want you to be my witness. So when the, the word says a breathe, that means air is coming from inside Jesus, correct? Yes, from a human being. That is for human okay. being. Okay. Yes. No, you see, you said the breathe mean air coming. That's what you said. Yes. Okay. Jesus so, is a human being. No problem. Allah, he breathed. Did he breathe air or something else? Okay, let me answer. Please, one minute. Don't huh? interrupt me, Christian, please. I know you. Uh huh. Uh -huh. <laughs> you see, you accept, but later on, you still interrupt me. You still go back. Okay, the Quran says that Allah breathes. How does Allah breathe? By commanding that uh, spirit to go. He breathed by his command. He commanded. Uh, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. So you Muslims believe. believe, hold on. So you Muslims believe, believe that when the Quran says Allah breathe, it is the Holy Spirit breathing? No, the Quran says Allah breathe. And okay. How breathe? So what is the action Allah did when he says breathe? What is that action? What action? The action is com is going to command the breathing of the spirit of the soul to. What to commanding? Breathe. Hold on. It says I breathe. I the same as it says here in Jesus' case. It says 
I breathe, Allah, he breathe. Yes. Okay. So why you are saying things is not the Quran. That the Quran says that when Allah breathe, he is asking the spirit to breathe or he is the one who breathe. No, Allah is commanding the spirit to breathe. Okay, right? hold on. So, okay, hold on. Guys, the Quran is commanding the spirit to breathe. So why the Quran saying, I breathe, Allah said, I breathe. That is, because that is a breathing. What do you mean I'm breathing? breathing? If no, 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 no. If, if he is the one, is a, if he is the one, is he is the one who breathed, then he should say, I commanded the spirit to breathe, but he said, I breathe. It is still the same thing. What, what? I can breathe. What? what? Let, me, let me explain. Why everything needs tons of... Okay. Why it says, I... Did he say, I command the spirit to breathe, or his I breathe? The Quran does not just say, I breathe. It says, I breathe the spirit. No problem. I Okay, I breathe from my spirit. So Allah have a spirit. No one, no, no problem. Yes, this, this, because he created it. All the spirits are created by Allah. Okay. But Allah, He breathed. Isn't the breathing is pushing air? For, for human being, yes. Now I'm breathing, right? Now I'm breathing. I don't care. Is when that? Allah Allah is using the same phrase He use, we use, so that means He breathed. Otherwise, He will not use it. According to you, Genesis chapter one verse twenty six, go to breathe. Your own God. No breathe. problem. Here so we go. I did did I say no? I mean, our God is he, He's a man, so we have a he have hands, he oh. have fingers. Shut up. So you see, you're stupid. So now is Allah is Allah is a man who he breathed or he's not? What happened? Is Allah a man who breathed or not? Hello. I'm doing using the internet of the neighbors. Are you there? Hello? Most of them don't pay for internet. Are you there? Okay. Okay, so now what the Quran says, did Allah say in the Quran, I commanded the spirit to breathe into Adam or his I breathe? You said I, he said I breathe. Breathe, according yes. to you, everybody breathe. heard you. Everybody heard you saying breathe. that Jesus, he breathed air, correct? Yes. But nowhere in the Quran it says that. Okay, what can man be breathe? Now we are breathing. Shut what up. Are you breathing? No, no, no. You're saying you are a Quran only. Jesus, listen, 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 listen. So if Jesus, he breathed air, you idiot, how in the world that bird will be alive? It's just air. Is the bird, a, is, the, is the bird is a balloon, I ask you, when Jesus, he breathed air, what that did? That's why I'm trying to explain, but you always stop, stop me. You keep explaining, you but you say nothing. Why he breathed air if, the, if air will do nothing? That's why I'm answering. Yeah. Okay. The, the 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 similar example that you gave is that okay. Why did he create the mood? Why did he just command the 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 mood to just start to bed? What Your question is illogical. What mood? Right. What mood? Okay. Let me give you a similar example. Here is the Bible, John chapter eleven. Verse don't talk. Don't talk. Five. You are Quran only. Don't go there. You are trying to escape the the humility no, and the I'm, stupidity. An the, the humility and the, no no. This is not example. We, we cannot compare. You cannot compare between cake and shit. Excuse me. So focus, you are a Quran only, and tell me now, Jesus, he breathed air, and you are the one who said the word air, and you are a Quran only. Where do you get the word air from? Just look at, look at how you expose the ignorant, and give Stop. you an example. You no, said you I said to me, air. you said to me, you are a Quran only, and I wanna, yes. I'm asking you, please, can you show me where from the Quran it says, Jesus, he breathed air? What does a human be breathe? Well, he breathed the spirit. He gave the, the life to the bird. Jesus is not the same as anyone. If I breathe and if I breathe or you breathe, you cannot. Can you make a bird yourself, a living bird? I can make it by the permission of God. Okay, listen. Let us say I will go with you by permission of God. No, you cannot. Here we go. The verse in the front of you, there's only one person, according to Islam, he was able to do this. Do you agree? No. 
Okay, do you have other person in Islam? He breathe into a mud and he make a living bird or living okay, creature? Please, one, one minute, one minute. Hmm. Exodus 7, 7. Moses don't told don't change the topic. Give me from Islam a person beside Jesus. He can create from the mud a creature. According to your own logic, Moses is God because he throws the staff and it becomes a snake. He did not create anything. Look at okay. Why did he throw it? Did did Moses did did Moses breathe into this setup? Did Moses breathe into the staff and make it a snake? So Moses strike it in the ground and give so it you are being stupid. This is God. He made, listen, listen. So you see here in the Quran, in front of you, it says, "I create for you." I, I. Does it say that? Yes. Okay. So when, can do that. shut up. So when Jesus said, "I create," that means He is the Creator, correct? Of that mood. Of that mood. What mood? What mood? That clay, right? On that shaping of the bird into a clay. No, no, He's no. He says, "I create for you a figure of a bird," right? I create for you. I create. The word there is a akhluku. The word is akhluku, not not form. Is that correct? From Okay, he what says, I akhluku al khalaq, al khalaq. What khalaq mean? What khalaq mean? That means to create something from something. To create something from right. something. No, al khalaq in the Quran, you idiot, is to create something out of nothing. No, it does not necessarily mean that. Khalaq just okay. means create. Okay, let us see. I will go with you. So, guys, remember the word khalaq, the word khalaq means to create something out of something, correct? It can be that, it can be anything. Just ah, now it can be anything. A second ago it was no. A second ago it said, it's it. you see how stupid you are? Do you see why I hang up on you? You are just a stupid kid. Do you, do you change your diaper? So the word khalaqa, does it mean create out of nothing or something out of something? It, it, the, word, the word khalaqa just means to create. It can be created in anything, in any form. No. Okay, if there is anyone in the Quran, he can create beside Jesus and Allah using the word khalaqa. Yes. Give me that. Give, give me the person. Even now, even now, the laptop they're using is created, right? Don't be stupid. What they created? This is a stupid idiot. We are talking about life, you donkey. Like Jesus did not create life. He okay, didn't hold create on. life. Okay, hold on. The Quran, does the Quran or the Hadith anywhere in the Islam says that the creator is the one who creates life? Who says that? I'm asking you, you as a Muslim, you are you have knowledge, you want to get me busted. So in Islam, in Islam, in the hadith as an example, does it say anywhere that the one who the one who can create a life is the one we call him a create a creator? Uh, this is not the Quran, right? The Quran says that Allah is the best of the creators. Right? It, okay, so now you made so now, now you made big, now, now you made the bigger so now your Quran confirmed that there is many creators. Yes, I can. Human being, I can create uh, things like aeroplane that can create all these things. Okay, so are you saying what? to me you, a second ago you said to me that the computer is created, correct? It's created, yes. So Allah is the best of the creator. That means He is the best who make computers. Yes, He is he's best in making the, those computers also. So Allah He make computers too. So when He was said that, He was comparing Himself to the one who make computers. He can make computer. Mm. Ah, that's uh, that's okay. But I'm asking you now for the last time, Abdul. I'm losing my patience with you. How many how many time I left my five fingers on your ass? Focus with me. I'm, I'm warning you. I'm warning you. I'm warning you because this is will be one more time in your ass. There's no more space. So listen. If there is anywhere in Islam teach that the Creator is the one who can create a life only, yes or no? Show me the Quran verse. Don't tell me, show me. I'm giving the answer. I said to create does not necessarily. I'm not. Uh, my question, I want you see, Muslims are potatoes. They will give me the Quran only so he can change the answer. Give me the answer. In Islam, do you Muslim believe that the one who can create life only is the one can be considered worse of worship? Yes or no? Created life, ba? Yes. So uh, say it again. What? I did not hear you. I said the one that creates life is only God. Only God can create life. Thank you. So the one who can create life is only God. Not the one who created computer, you donkey. Yes, the, that's why the, <laughs> the one who created computer is not God. Okay, hold on. So the, the Quran said, let us read the verse together. You are a donkey. You do not know your book. 
This is why I keep keeping you busted. No. Shut up. Donkey, Shut up. So you Jesus, Jesus, he said, I create for you a bird, a bird. I create by permission of Allah or set up from what hold on doesn't from matter what? from what doesn't matter he create a living he create a living bird shut up shut up shut up okay if, 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 somebody, if somebody hold on if somebody can create a fly is he God a great a fly yeah is he God is it a clear flight or a living fly a living a fly you stupid what do they know the fly fly is it a moot fly? The one, the one in the one, in, the one now, the one now in your nose, the one in your nose. Is it living fly or dead fly? That's why I'm asking you, because there's a different here. I'm asking you. I just told you it's in your nose. So is it dead or alive? What do you think? Usually in your country, fly they come to your nose. They are dead or alive? What do you think? There are flies that are created from status. There are status. Okay. Not, okay. Uh, so if somebody can. If somebody, according to Islam, if somebody can create a fly, is he worth of worship? Yes or no? Is if he create a, a, a living fly, a fly that can you know fly? Yeah. You know, he's God. He's God. Okay, but Jesus created the bird. No. He what do you mean no? A, a, a moot bird. Let me talk, Christian Prince. You know the point. Let me answer. <laughs> Jesus, what what he created? What he created was not a live bird. It is a moot bird. Then as he breathed into it. It becomes a bird by the permission of God, meaning God Abdul, is God. Abdul, 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 okay, Abdul, 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 okay, okay, I, I will go with you, I will go with you. So when Allah gave Jesus a permission, and what Jesus did with the permission, what, what does that mean, permission? So let us say my dad, he said to me, you have a permission to drive my car. But still I need to know how to drive, correct? Look at the verse, look at the verse. The listen, verse listen, 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 listen. So permission of Allah is a joke, because did Allah give me permission to laugh at him now? That's not a permission. Look at the verse. I'm bringing your attention to the verse. Okay, right? and hold on. See? So now Jesus the is the Jesus is the creator by permission or not? Still, okay. Allah, He gave him permission to be creator. This is what you are saying to me? No. The verse says, as he breathed into it, the mood becomes a bed with the permission of God. It becomes a bed. So it is Allah who commanded that mood okay. to turn into a okay. bed. Okay. Hold on. Hold on. Let, let's let us read together. So it says by the permission of Allah. Allah gave it Jesus Allah gave Jesus a permission, correct? No, no, to yes, create a bird. No, no, to create a bird. And he breathed into it. Now I want you to prove to me that when Jesus he breathed, he just gave air nothing else. And then you will be the winner. Go ahead. The verse says Allah gave permission to that move. I so want you to show me. Listen, listen. You said you said that when Jesus he breathed, he did not breathe life, he breathed air. Show me, show no, me the, why, show me the when, reference. When, when, I answer, when I want to answer, you always interrupt me. You don't let me finish. Okay, show me the verse from the Quran. It says that Jesus breathed air. Okay, in Quran chapter three verse forty nine, the verse says Jesus is going to create a moot bed, and after stop that, stop repeating yourself, you donkey. I'm asking you where it says he breathed air. Where it says he breathed air. You ask many questions how to answer your questions. Okay, I'm ask, I'm asking you where it says why I need to repeat the question a thousand times. Where it says he breathed air. The human being breathe air. The human breathe air. Human okay, I will go with you. So when the angel Jibreel he came to Muhammad as a man, did he breathe air? I challenge to show me the word the Quran where it says that uh, the Jibreel come to Muhammad and they breathe air. You hmm? Uh, uh, I said to you, show me where it says Jesus, you breathe air. You said to me, human breathe air. Yes, human breathe air. That's what human breathe. Abdul, but here he is creating a bird. So why he breathe then if it's just air? That is why I'm answering. You don't let me finish my sentence. You keep sentence. saying the same stupid Always. thing. Is it a balloon? Was he making a balloon or a clay? It is a clear. Everyone okay. can make it. So why, what, what, what the air will do in the process of the creation? The air, just like example, when Moses, when the staff of Moses turned to his neck, why did he struck it to the ground? What does it have to do with the breathing? Okay, the, the stick is a stick. Did, 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 did Moses? Hold on, hold on. Did, did Moses? Did Moses do anything to the stick? He just throw it. Okay, throw it, and then okay. it comes his so, neck, right? So, okay, so now, Jesus, did Jesus so say, hold on, hold on. 
did Jesus throw did Jesus throw the mud and then Allah make it bird or Jesus he created the same as Allah made Adam a form of a bird and then he breathed into the bird the same as Allah breathed into Adam no it is not the same you, you, you don't okay have to prove it that. prove it that's prove it okay prove it give me the air that's why I'm giving you answers always you have to stop me because I'm, I'm, I'm not you. stopping you I keep asking you where it says air you are a Quran only you are a fraud you when, when you say you air, when you say air it mean air so you prove it where is the air okay the first example is why did Moses throw the staff to the ground? Why why did he do that? I answered Second. you. I answered you because it's going to be a snake. Uh, he hold it in his hand, so he sh he, he threw this the, the the stick. So the the stick became a snake. But this is not a creation. So, this is not. This is this is not a creation of a life of Moses. Moses never claimed he created anything. Here in Arabic why it says, he, "Shut up." He, here here it says, "I create for you." A moot bed. It says, I did, Mo did Moses say, I create for you? According to the Bible, yes. Okay, show me what it says, I create for you. Go ahead. Okay, so he created life, right? He created life. Shut According up and show me what it says, Moses says, I create for you. Okay, he created the life. Ah, here we go. Hey, don't, don't, don't for me to hang up on you. Don't be a donkey. Be a man. So now, no, he did not create anything. Okay, hold on. So do you agree? Do you, do you, okay, hold on, hold on. Do you agree that Moses then he created the life? Exodus 7, 7, opposite. Do you agree that Moses created the life? According to the Bible, yes. According to your own logic, your explanation. Okay, read for me. The Bible says, uh, Moses, he said, I create life. Why don't you not put it in the screen, Christian, please? I will Why put are it. You okay, what verse you want me to put for you on the screen? Exodus 7, 7. Okay, read it for us. Put it in the screen. Okay, uh, read it for us. I will put it in the screen. I, said, I will read. Uh, I will put it in the screen. Okay, go ahead. Have you put it? I read it, potato. Okay. Mm. Um, YouTube. So Moses must be your god now today. <laughs> Let us see. We will seven. laugh at you. Moses, Christian, please has adopted another god called Abdul. Moses. Shut up and read it. Okay. It says that uh, Moses struck the, the staff to the ground and it becomes a snake with the permission of God. <laughs> <laughs> read the verse. Read the verse. I have read the verse. What, what you said? Uh, you said Exodus seven seven, correct? Exodus uh, yes seven verse seven. Okay, read that for me. He struck the staff to the ground and it becomes a snake. You said it says there he created a snake. You said that Moses he said I created a snake. Yes, it's why did he struck it to the ground? It's why it's does not You see how you will lie. You said to me that Moses, and you were reading it, you says, Moses, he, he said, I created a snake for you. Yes, why did he strike the ground? According to you, I'm using Where, where it says that? No, in the, in the Quran, Jesus said, I created. Did Jesus use the word akhluk? Did Jesus created use the word? A live bed. Just shut up. You see, I'm losing my patience with you. Did Jesus say, I uh, akhluk? Yes or no? He created a, a mood bed, not a live bed. No, he created yes. life. I create for you a bird. From mood. From Doesn't mood. matter. This is how Allah, this is how Allah created Adam from mud too. From mood, from mood. Isn't, this is, can, isn't this is the same material me, Allah he used? Let me talk. I Shut said up. Don't, don't call me. Don't mood. call me again, donkey. I mean, I'm losing my patience oh. with you. <laughs> Scum back like your prophet. No dignity. He breathe air. Just shut up. Don't call me. Don't call me. Son of Muta. You are a whore. You have no dignity. He breathe air. Why? He was making a balloon. He created a bird. He said, I create for you. And you know, I can say I am the one who gave the permission to Jesus too. Talk is cheap. 
our religion, our prophet, our followers, our manipulation. You Muslims answer us from your anus. You have no God. He breathe air, and what the air will do? Yes, yes, uh, Musa, he threw the stick, uh, threw the stick. He said, I create for you. Okay, show me where he said, I create. Liars, a scam. I create, I design, I make. And you see here, it says even in the translation, I design for you out of that lake. In fact, in Arabic, it says, Akhluk, which means I create. You change the translator because there's a huge difference between I design and I create. The same word in the Quran is exist everywhere, mean I create, creation, creation, creation. Even this potato, he said, Allah is the best of the creators. And then he claimed that this is about making computers. So Allah comparing himself to those who make computers. This is how stupid liars they are. I. Do you see the word I? I. I heal him. I. Who? The one is born blind. Not sick. I heal the leper. I raise the dead. Then by Allah leaves. Okay, Allah he leave. If there's any proof of that, no. But the most important is I create. This is our topic. What we are saying most important. I create for you. I breathe into it. And after the breathe, this clay will become a bird. The Quran says, do you worship the one who cannot even create a fly? A fly. Jesus did not create a fly. As, as the Quran is saying now, right now as we speak, there's birds flying in the sky made by Jesus. The one who can create a fly is worth of worship. My keyboard keeps switching to English. Oh people, do you worship someone cannot even create a fly? They cannot even get the fly back from them, whatever the fly is snatched from them. So you see the word create is the same used word with Jesus. Yakhluku. Khalaqa. Al-khalq huwa khalq al-adam, which means before that moment, there was nothing have to do with life. And that's why he's talking about fly. Which means giving life. So when Jesus resurrects people, he's giving life. This is another creation. When Jesus, he made mud, he mood, mood, he made mood, he made mood, he just made mood, and then by the leave of Allah. I breathe into it. Which means the life is coming from the breath of Jesus. What air? So what this is stupid Muhammad saying, that Allah gave the Messiah the ability to create anything he want. He gave him permission and he gave him ability. But let us compare. The Messiah said, everything I have is from my father. Everything I have from my father. But doesn't mean he did not create. So let us say here, Allah, and forgive me Lord for saying it, Allah is like the father. And Jesus saying everything given to me from the Father. That will not change anything. Jesus is still the creator. If God now gave me ability to create, well, I'm creator now. He gave me ability. 
and I created things. I created uh, uh, maybe a chicken or Muhammad. Idiot, this is why the creation is wrong. And when the stupid Quran says, by the permission of Allah, there is any proof of that? Where did Jesus say that? Show me. The whole word Allah never mentioned in the Bible, they will say to you the Arabic translation. This is false translation. This is absolutely false translation. Same time, even in the this is stupid translation, you will see that Jesus saying clearly that I am God's son, I have the power over the flesh. I was with you before the world. No salvation but by me. Me and the Father is one. The one who saw me, he saw the Father. What more we want? His disciples said to him, Lord, show us the Father. He keep talking about the Father. Show us the Father. He said to him, I am with you all this time. And you do not know me? The one who saw me, he saw the Father. When the disciple did, he bowed down and worshipped him. And they say to you, where Jesus said, worship me. Coward liars. And now this potato, suddenly Jesus, when he breathed, he breathed air. He was making a balloon. He had a flat tire. And according to his lies, Moses, he created a snake by breathing to it. And he said, I create. Where? They love to lie. Duct tape. But the important here, by the way, to get Allah busted or Aka Muhammad, how come Allah could not give Muhammad any of those things? As long as Allah gave Jesus the permission for all those things, and Muhammad is, according to Muslims, is the most important man. So how come Muhammad could not do anything? Muhammad have a diarrhea. He could not heal himself. Muhammad, he could faint. He could not heal himself. Muhammad, his children, according to Muslims, they died. He could not resurrect them. His God could not resurrect his children too. Is that correct? I mean, this guy, life full of disasters. He himself, if you see how he died, you will see how horrible it is. He could not heal. For more than four years, Muhammad is dying from little poison of a rat. In the case of Jesus, the Messiah is back to life. When the Muslim they say to you, you cannot kill God. You say, true, you cannot. <laughs> Here we go, he's back. <laughs> and when the Muslim they say Jesus is in heaven, why? Because you cannot kill God, right? <laughs> The prophet in his element, in which he died, used to say, O oh Aisha, I still feel the pain caused by the food I ate at Khaybar. At this time, I feel as if my orta is being cut off, cut from that poison. If you ask any Abdul, is death caused by Allah or by man? He says by Allah, even if somebody kill you. Allah. Okay. Why Allah done making Muhammad die by poison? Any Muslim can tell us? Why Allah decided to kill Muhammad by poison? As long as everything is by the will of Allah. Especially death and life. Why Allah caused him to die this way? And the funny is, the same man, Muhammad, he said, if you eat seven ajwa, poison cannot kill you. And Muhammad, he eats seven ajwa every day. No black magic. 
and no poison. And the funny is, according to Muslims, Muhammad, he was infected by black magic controlled more for more than a year. And he died by poison. He's a liar. Is that the power of God or the power of Ajwa? Dr. Muhammad exposed his lies. Did Jesus took seven Ajwa to come back to life? Hmm? Ajwa? Dr. Muhammad. And then different place, Muhammad, he said this. Just to show you how fraud he is, this is why this potato, he claimed that to be Quran only, but the second you ask him to prove it from the Quran only, he changed the topic. Quran only, what a joke. Nagla seed is the remedy of every disease. Okay, Muhammad is dying, his children died. Do you use the Nagla seed? It is the cure for any disease, just one seed, the Nagla seed. If I am you Muslims, I will eat Nagla seed in the morning, Nagla seed at noon, Nagla seed afternoon, and then Corona will never affect me. You just get Nagla seed. Why well, you go to the hospitals and you put mask and you empty the Kaaba? Just give everybody Nagla seed. Anyone enter the Kaaba, give him Nagla seed before he entered the Kaaba. He will all be fine. Hmm? This can you have cancer? Take Nagla seed. You take Nagla seed, the cancer is gone. Potato. You know? Yeah. You, okay, you cannot have kids? Take Nagla seed and go to the bedroom with your wife. Okay, it's not you who sleep with your wife? Give it to your neighbor. Because you need four witnesses, as you know. You cannot prove anything. Nagla seed. Potatoes. Jesus, he breathed air. He was making a flat tire uh, like full. This is how the Quran saying, Allah, he breathed. Jesus says, I breathe. Allah said, I breathe. Oh, Jesus is a human, he breathed air. Uh -huh. Okay, what this? They say the same as Musa's. Musa's Musa did a breathe into that stick. He put the stick in his mouth. <laughs> This stick became a snake. I created you, okay, by promise of Allah. Potatoes. By the way, this is between me and you. You know, this is like long time ago when I was nine years old. I, you know, I used to have a problem uh, with the sexual intercourse. I have like. Uh, at that time, because marriage was cheap, you know, so I was marrying and I decided to do jihad and have babies in one night. So I said to myself, I'm going to have sex tonight with 100 women. And brother, very embarrassing. When I went to the bedrooms, I finished only with 40. How did I get 30? Let me remember to be honest with you. 39, 39 and a half. Don't ask me what the half means. <laughs> you know, to be honest with you, maybe 41, I don't remember, this is a long, long, long time ago. And brother, I said to myself, what the heck is that? How I can make baby? How I can do that? And then I invoke my God, Allah. And then he said to me, take neglect seat. And brother, I took, by mistake, I took three Nagla seed. Allah told me one. See, this is what happened to you when you didn't listen. I took one and I cannot stop. There again, 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 there again. I mean, it is so, I was, man, exhausted. I cannot even, like, I can't even go to or take a break. You know, like, I want to go. 
I mean, like just to eat a sandwich, I cannot stop. Green Eglisid looked like Prophet Solomon. He used to have them. I don't know. Do you think I copied this story which is supposedly me about Solomon? I don't think so. I think this is what happened to me. Look, 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 look. The Messenger of Allah said. Where is the rest of the hadith? They took it off. They cut it off. It's gone. Let's see here this one. Look at this. Today, Prophet Solomon said, I will visit each one of them, my wives. He have he, in this hadith take numbers. Muhammad is very truthful. He had sixty wives. How many? Sixty. So he said, "Today I'm going to do boom boom to every one of them." But eh, stupid, he forgot to say, "Inshallah." So he have no problem, like you know. But he can have sex with sixty wives. All of them in one night. I mean, yeah, at that time, men are different, man. Not like today. Like today, you know, hardly a man, he can have sex with 20. At that time, 60. Muhammad the liar, he cannot keep his mouth shut. In different story, he changed the number. So now here is 60. In different story, it says 90. Oof, 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 oof. 60 became 90. And then he forgot to say, inshallah. So after all, if in all night, 90 women, he have half baby. Don't ask me what does that mean. Maybe his two legs only came out, which means supposedly disabled. And then here the story says, David, he will say tonight, I will go and do a hundred women. Look what it was, 60 and 70, and 90, and now 99, and now 100. What this guy, Solomon? He can have sex with 100 women only? I mean, I'm so disappointed. He's, and he's a prophet of God. How I'm going to show my face to my friends now? Tell them I have a prophet in my book, the Quran. He could not have sex with more than. Hundred women, that's it. How am I going to speak to my friends? Only hundred women. Muhammad, he tell the story again, the number changed. Sixty. 70, 90. Each story he made, each time he talk, he, he changed the number. You don't remember? You don't remember. Look, here it says 70. Do you see it? 70s. So we have 60. We have 70. We have 90. We have 100. All is mentioned by Muhammad and all is authentic. All is what? Authentic, as you see, this is Bukhari. Huh? And this is authentic too. Huh? Ninety, authentic. How they can be authentic? Each one have different number. It's because Muhammad is a fraud. Huh? I'm going to have intercourse with my wives, all of them. All of them. How many? Seventy. What here? What about here? How many here? Huh? How many? 90. All is authentic. All is the story is authentic. Look. I will have intercourse. And look here, Muhammad, he said, intercourse with 100 or 99. Look, the number changed now. It's not 90. It's 99 or 100. Honesty, honesty. Muslims, what kind of Muslim prophet you are? They can't do boom boom to a hundred women in one night? Don't you think this is too little? 
Only? I mean, Joe Biden can do more. Joe Biden, he went to bed. He came the second day with the Hunter Biden. Easy. No. That's it. So after doing boom boom to 100 women, he could not have any babies. Why? Because he forgot to say, inshallah, which means Allah is willing. See, Allah is not willing. You put your penis in the vagina without permission of Allah. She's his wife, you idiot. Why you have to say, inshallah? This is why, remember, if when I spoke to the stupid Mimi Hijab, I said to him, how come you never say, inshallah? Many people do not understand, really, how important this is for a Muslim. Muslim believe, if you don't say, inshallah, nothing will happen. And that explains why they have no electricity in the Middle East. They call the guy in the electricity company. Assalamu alaikum, brother. Alaikum, assalamu alaikum, assalam. Who's talking to me, Abdul? All of them, Abdul. You know, remember the name, Abdul. Brother, we don't have electricity for the last seven weeks. Where is the electricity will come in? Brother, I told you yesterday and the day before it and the day before it, you call me. I said, inshallah, we will fix it tomorrow. What the heck? Inshallah. And now the poor Suleiman, he effed 100 women, but he forgot. Stupid, stupid. Disgusting, stupid. How do you do that? Aren't you ashamed if you and you are prophet of God too? And now what you can explain to your wives after all this boom boom? Our husband was shooting blank. You know what? I am suspecting that the Muslim Suleiman he was doing it in the wrong location. I don't think even he was doing it in the right place. Otherwise, it doesn't make sense. I mean a hundred women. Not even one of them she have a baby. Like Muhammad, you know, you have 13 wives. They claim he if them all, and yet he could not have a baby. He shoot a blank. You know? I remember once, talking about shooting blank, I went to a target uh, practicing. Uh, I shot 16 bullets, I think. I forgot how many bullets. But I found, I don't know, I, I, I found some extra bullet in my paper. Thanks to the women around me. They are so good in shooting. I look at my paper, I don't know, I have like 21, 23. Let me change the number like Muhammad. 99 bullet, maybe? <laughs> I said to myself, how in the world I shot only few bullet and I have it twice more? And then I look in the, my right side and my left side. Women are shooting. That's why they say women are dangerous. They might shoot the husband, but the bullet ends in the neighbor. So maybe Suleiman was shooting the wrong place. Maybe he have a very bad vision. You know, like maybe he what he, what are you doing, Suleiman? What the heck you were doing? What are you going to tell my friends, my Muslim friends? You forgot to say, inshallah. Aren't you ashamed? Hey, Muslims, when you drive your car, do you say, inshallah? Otherwise, the car will not go. So how those Christians, they have sex without saying, inshallah, and they have babies? Hmm? Which Jewish man, he say, inshallah, before sex, Jack Shalom? What about the Buddhist? Do you think they say, inshallah, before sex? I don't know, I'm really, uh, I, I want to convert to Islam. So today we learned that Jesus, he was a breathing air. Mm. Do we have any Muhammadan? Who is here first time? Don't forget to subscribe if you are first time. And then after you subscribe, don't forget please to unsubscribe because I don't like people subscribing to my channel. I'm an Arab. Are people like that and if you subscribe to my channel without saying inshallah okay uh, you will not cannot be uh, watch my video sorry you know because simply you don't say inshallah you have to say inshallah we don't say inshallah you know? what you expect yeah? you say inshallah everything work yeah? 
Listen. So if a man, a Muslim man, he want to have sex with his neighbor, and he don't want her to have a son from him, you know, they are fornicating, you know. So he should not say, inshallah, right? So he have sex with her, and he don't say, inshallah, the woman will never have a baby. I never thought about this. Do we have any Muhammadan? Hmm? Insha. <laughs> okay, the word Insha Allah, it's funny. I will tell you why. Because there's a story of a Jewish man, he taught Muhammad monotheism. You see, those Muslims, they claim that they are monotheists. The fact, the first time Muhammad, you heard of it, it was from a Jew. Read with me. The same word, inshallah, read carefully. Here they say a man he came to Muhammad, but it's not a man only, he is a Jew. Read with me carefully. Monotheism taught to Muhammad by a Jew, not Allah. It was narrated from Abdullah ibn Yasir, from, 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 a woman from Juhayna. The Jew came to the Prophet and said, You are setting up reviles to Allah and associating others with Him. Look at this serious accusation. Muhammad is a mushrik. And then you say, Whatever Allah will, which means inshallah, and you will. And you say, By the Kaaba, which means you swear by the Kaaba. But the Prophet, look what happened. He changed his monotheism. He took what the Jewish told him and he changed it. So he said to them, from now on, if you wanted to swear an oath, say by the Lord of the Kaaba and say whatever Allah wills and what you will. Not the opposite. A Jewish man teaching Muhammad, calling Muhammad, you are worshipping wrong. You are not practicing monotheism. Muhammad, he agree. You see, if Muhammad said to the guy, no, no, you are wrong. Oh, he, he don't agree. But as you see, Mumu, he took the command of the Jew. His, the command of the Jew became the command of the Muslims. Do you see the word command? Who is the one who command Muhammad to change the way to say things? A Jew. Muhammad command the Muslims. Debate Uthman. Give me, give me her Skype. Uthman, she don't dare to talk to me. She have a diaper. Is that the guy who do not know how to read his Arabic Quran, but he claimed to be Sheikh? Oh, he's so cute. Bit of man with potato. Even the Muslims are making fun of him. Look, brother. If you type Uthman, look what the Muslims they say about him. <laughs> Talking videos of Uthman ibn Farouk. <laughs> Those are made by Muslims, not by me. By who? By Muslims. They are dying laughing at his stupidity. You Muslims are laughing at that guy. This is a sheikh. Are you sure? Yes, brother, yes, yes. He, got, and he claimed to be a sheikh and he have a master's degree in the hadith. That's deep. 
That's really deep. Sheikh Uthman. And those Abdul, you know, they are sitting, as usual, they are bashing each other. Look, look at, look, look at the, look at the, it scared the hell of me. has fooled you in believing that he is a great scholar and he has so much knowledge. <laughs> Just as he's fooled you in that, he is fooling you in terms of his aqidah also. Because he has the Salafi aqidah, calls it the Athari aqidah. Calls it the Athari aqidah. But brothers and sisters, do not be fooled by these words. He is a pure Salafi. And then they made other videos of him. Uh, I mean, there is endless videos actually. Let us see. Hold on. So you you mentioned his name, so we have to laugh now. Come, edit. Him. I mean, you must times you help us, big deal. Look at this, look, brother. This is Sheikh Uthman reading Arabic to the Muslims. <laughs> Having said that, many uh, Imma and Ulema of the past, for example, Imam al Nabawi or Ibn Hajar, they made mistakes in Tawilat. <laughs> and if we mention their names in Duru, uh, yeah, yeah, all the, uh, the sheikhs, all of them are wrong, you know, he's a, uh, but he cannot even read, he cannot even read his book, look at those faces, look, friendly faces, your friendly neighbor Abdul. Farooq, who just recently arrived in England uh, to do a little talk, read his Salafiya um, ideology, and, uh, you know, the Jasimi Tashbihi Akida that he uh, brings with him. So... It's been about, I'd say, about, about, about a year or so, about a year, a year and a half ago. Bashing each other, making fun of each other, laughing at his Arabic. You know, unbelievable. I mean, the guy didn't know Arabic, so just let it go. Potato, he claimed to be sheikh. Ala nar, ya yuhan nas, ma gharraka bi rabbik al kareem. <laughs> what is the name? Look, look, what is the name of the video? Salafi Uthman ibn Farooq, what a joke. Who made that? Islam production. That's deep. Very deep. If you must then call him a joke, I will call him what? Watermelon? Ketchup boy? Mm -hmm. Who wanna call me? Yeah, who wanna call me? But he take necklace seat before he call me. Jesus, he just to breathe air. You know, he's a human. He breathe air. He did nothing. His Quran only. You know, the funny thing is that my videos and other channels they get like in a few days they get sixty thousand, seventy thousand view. My channel, they don't get much. Obviously, you two, they are not doing that. Hmm. Do we have any Abdul? Who is here first time? Let us see how many hours we are here. Four hours and 14 minutes? Eh, not much. By the way, how long it took Suleiman to have sex with all those women? 100 women, do you think two hours? If you ask me, I mean, four hours is too much. He did 100 women in one night? Hold on, hold on. Somebody calculate for me. Guys, if the night was eight hours, how many minutes he need for everyone? I apologize from those who say to me, God bless you, etc. Sorry, you know, I don't answer you. Because, you know, we have things, you know, to keep focusing on the topic. 
but I see your comment and not I'm not ignoring it. So I appreciate you all. You see how nice I am. Do you see how nice I am? Very friendly. Uh, so the video what? That they say if he this Farouk was in Pakistan, people would drag him to bazaar and beat him to death. Yeah, you know, in the state he is enjoying the freedom, and he can be he can claim whatever you want in this country. Fifteen what? Five minutes and fifteen seconds. He's so slow. I'm really disgusted with Suleiman. I. I, I used to think about him highly. But this guy, he what? Flying carpet and all of those things, and yet he need 15, he need 5 minutes and 15 seconds for each woman. What a shame. What I will tell my friend. Looked like Suleiman, he was a rabbit. You know? If, Five minutes and 15 seconds if he did not take a break. If they are lying up next to each other. Mm. Uh, and sister died in Iraq. Well, I mean, what you can do. Uh, people, they do stupid things. You cannot blame anyone. You know, people are uh, naive. And they go, you know, they bring firework inside the, the saloon where you do wedding, where it's the roof is made from uh, you know, fabric and plastic. What you can say. Any Muhammadan? How come Muhammad cannot have sex with 100 women in one night? How come Muhammad is short his testicles? Very not, not good. Right? All right, I think we have enough for today. I hope you guys, did we have a good time? I hope so. Feel free to download my video, share it with your friends. And if you are new, you know, feel free to subscribe. And until I see you again, I hope so, maybe tomorrow or the day after. Or tomorrow, you know. Well, we will see. We will see how many views we will have here, you know. Event. If we have a good view, then we can come right away tomorrow. And I hope you guys, you will not miss me very much. Me, myself, I don't miss myself. I'm not sure why. But I think it's a natural thing, isn't it? It's not easy to be me. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, that's not me. You are wrong, Christian. Look at the Armenian Archbishop in Iran who takes the Quran to church. Alhamdulillah. Uh, you know, this is a he, this guy is not a Christian, he's practicing taqiyya. We have many of those people, taqiyya people. Those are not Christians. The Bible says. Let it let be curse on the one who bring any other scriptures than this. So if you say to me, there's a bishop, wherever he is, I'm not saying you're lying, by the way. We have many false people. The Bible says it clearly, there's false teachers. So let anyone bring other than this scriptures be cursed. The Quran is a false scripture. So anyone he carry it, bring it, try to speak of it as good, he is no Christian and he will go to hell. We here, we get them busted. Why oh, you don't call me and tell me that, uh, you know, that, tell me why he is doing it right. Is that because the Quran says the Christians are worth of creatures? 
He take it with him to the church? Are you serious? <laughs> Not in my church. <laughs> if a bishop we bring a, 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 a Quran to the church to praise it, to praise the Quran, we will kick his ass off the church. We will throw him in the trash garbage. He will be fired immediately. We will send him to enjoy the rest of his life teaching the devil how good the Quran. Yeah, no Christian would do that. No Christian. The Bible says it clearly. Who is the Antichrist? Is the one who denied the Son and the Father. So any person claim to be a Christian, he hold the Quran and say this is a book of God. He is supporting the Antichrist book. And the Bible confirmed that. It's not my words. Muhammad, he denied the father, denied the son. As simple as that. Yeah, maybe the Quran went to the church to confess its sin. That's a good statement. Uh, predator, thank you. Yeah, but uh, you know, the Quran, by the way, according to Muhammad, is a man, he will come in the day of judgment as a pale man. I don't know why he said pale man, which means dead man. Dead man, do we have any Muhammadan? Last call, Muhammadan, listen. Now I'm tired after talking four hours. You can debate me so easy. You want to tell me that Jesus was a breathing air? He breathed air into the bird? He was making a balloon? All right, guys. I want to say thank you. May the Lord bless you. And uh, I advise you to eat seven ajwa every day. This way you will stay healthy, like me. Smart and uh, handsome, especially the last one. I eat seven ajwa every day, unbelievable. Like I walk in the street, everybody take the other side. Seven ajwa will keep you so good, so, you know, ajwa. And then, but uh, disclaimer, if you die by poison like Muhammad, don't blame me, blame Muhammad. If black magic plays on you like Muhammad, don't blame me. Muhammad, Dr. Muhammad says that, so ajwa. Seven ajwa, seven. Hey Muslims, what is the secret of number seven? Why not six? What if we eat seven and the whole? You know what? In fact, I have data in front of me. Here. I don't know if you can hear the sound. They are not really, they are not ripe yet. I have a case of date. Yeah. Seven, seven, why seven? A magical number. Ah, Jesus in the Bible says seven. Oh. Then he said 70. We copy it. And then you said three, uh, we uh, copy it. I mean, whatever we, the Bible says, we copy the numbers, put it in the Quran, and we make it in special numbers. So, Muhammadan, I will leave you for seven hours and come back to you with seven ajwa power. And now all of you understand why I'm so strong and I don't get tired so easy. And even my voice, look, speaking all those hours, my voice is still the same. If you speak for two hours, you will lose your voice. I speak six hours, seven hours, eight hours. Ajwa, 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 brother. Ajwa and naglaseed. But I avoid naglaseed. Naglaseed is for boom boom, you know? Yeah, I don't I take naglaseed, homeboy, you know? I mean, you can you can do miracles with the naglaseed. That's a different story. We, we cannot go to that level now because many of you are under the age, you know? Yeah, naglaseed, yeah, naglaseed. Uh, you just remember um, I, I, I'm going to delete this hadith actually from the book because many of you now Allah knows best what you will do at night hmm? how many of you will go right now to Amazon searching for Negla seed to order it after what I told you just be honest how many ladies now they will go and buy an eggless seed to their husband? Oh, my husband, he sleeps so early. I, honey, are you there? You want to, like, uh, <clears throat> you know, we don't have a son, by the way. Oh, we don't? Yeah, we don't. We, we don't have a son. So 
So, okay, you know, uh, I'll, I'll talk to you tomorrow. L listen, uh, husband, husband. I heard Prophet Muhammad, police be upon him, he said, if you take one necklace, said, you can do miracles. Oh, really? I can do miracles? Yes, I can do miracles. Uh, okay. Would be nice if I can change you and make you look better. Husband, I'm not talking about me. I'm talking about something else. Oh, boy. I cannot answer you. Allah is not God. What, what, what you said? We have a Muslim here who said, Christian Prince, you cannot answer me. That's deep. When a Muslim, he says that. That's deep. Abdul, the funny is your name, and you are talking about answering you. Did Allah answer you? Hmm? Did Allah answer Muhammad when he died by poison? What do you think? Huh? As you see, your prophet, he died from poison. Do you think Muhammad was saying to himself, Why? Why, Allah, why? Why you made me die like this? Like bright poison? And then the answer came to Muhammad in the hall. What was the answer? Is the following. Read with me. If Muhammad fabricated Quran, claiming it is from us, which means Allah, I will cut his archery. Who? Yes, Allah said that. Chapter 69, verse number 46. If he invented false saying concerning us, we assuredly had taken him by his right hand and then severed his life artery. The many translation, cut his artery, severed his life artery, whatever artery you want. Muhammad in the hadith, because he's an idiot, he said, O oh, Aisha, I'm dying. At this moment, I feel like my artery is being cut off. Read and love. It's exactly what the Quran said. It's a miracle. If Muhammad fabricated anything on us, Allah will cut his order. And then the answer from Allah came, brother. And Muhammad died exactly like that. What do you think? No, no, Muhammad did not predict his own death. No, 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 that's not what happened. I believe this donkey is a donkey. He said this statement when he was healthy. You know, that if he is fabricating, Allah said to me, if I'm fabricating, because people are accusing him of fabrication, Allah said to me, if I'm fabricating, he will cut my artery. And I believe my Lord, my Lord, he caused him to end in such a way and to say what he said. To confirm to the idiots who they are slow with their IQ. But what do you want more as a proof? The guy, he said it clearly. As God told him, if he is lying, this is how he will die. And he died exactly as he said. You see, CP, people love you. Where are the people who love me? I don't see them.
Christian friends, someone and member and numbered days and ex Muslim now follower of Christ want to call you. Is that possible? Well, my friend, I'm not talking call, taking call from Christians. All right. Maybe some other time if we, you know, if we have time. Were well, you finished with the turtle? Oh, that's a, this guy, we took, it took us five minutes to finish him. He was making fun of the Quran. He's an idiot. All right, guys. You see, I said I wanna, I'm leaving an hour ago. You, you see what you do to me? Eh, that's your fault. Uh, we're stuck with the artery of Muhammad now. And uh, hey, Muslims, this is a prophet of God, seven Ajju and Agla Seed. The guy is dying. The hadith says even Muhammad, he keeps fainting every few minutes. Every few minutes. If, if I go right now, here we go, we open a new topic. What I'm going to go, you guys, what do you do to me? What do you do to me? Faint. The prophet fainted. We are typing the wrong language. What, what's wrong with this prophet? The prophet keep fainting? The fainting prophet? Look, look at this. This is a prophet of God. What has been narrated concerning the prayer of the messenger SAW during his sickness? What sickness? The messenger of Allah fainted when he was sick. And then he woke up and he said, Has the time of the prayer come? They said, Okay, yes, yes. He said, Okay, tell Bilal to call for then. And then he is here and then he fainted again. What the heck? Read the story. It's funny, it's dummy. The prophet, he fainting, wake up, fainting, wake up, fainting, wake up, and then at the end, he, di he died after four years. More than four years of suffering. Even the Christians of Palestine are fighting for the Muslims, not for the kingdom of Jerusalem. The kingdom of Jerusalem has failing. Oh, my friend, I don't know, I saw the king of Saudi Arabia kissing the ass of the Jews. <laughs> and Abdul, uh, the kingdom of God in Christianity is not in the city. The kingdom of God is going to be the new Jerusalem, which means the land of peace, where people live in peace and there's no Abdul, who believe in killing others and hatred. Way to Jesus, my friend. Your prophet, he predicted the coming of Jesus in the corner. He said, almost, almost Jesus is here. That was 1400 years ago. How we know false prophet? From false prophecy. He claimed that Jesus is going to land now, 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 hold. The Yushikna, you know, in, in Arabic, Yushikna mean what? It's like almost here, like not only in the, like in behind the door. The Muslim translation says soon. Do you see it? But this is not soon. This is very, very soon. False prophet. Liu Shikna. So Abdul, we laugh at you. Same time, when the Muslims they talk about Jerusalem, I mean, this is the place where your prophet he went there. And now it's in the land of the Jews. What you can do about it? Instead of doing jihad, all your kings is kissing the ass of the Jews one by one. King Abdullah, what well, about king? Those are made by the British intelligent. Emirat, Bahrain, Kuwait, now oh, Saudi Arabia, just wait. 
all of this because the Shia are eating you. You know what? Honestly, I would love to see the Shia controlling all those Muslim Sunni countries. And I believe it's going to happen soon. If you look at the map now, you will see Syria controlled by the Shia. Iraq. Sunni in Lebanon, nobody even count them. They have no weight. Yemen. Oman. Even in Saudi Arabia, the number of Shia is growing so fast. Even in Libya, even in Morocco, if you go right now and check about videos about Shiaism spreading between Muslims, you will not believe it. This is why you see the Sunni now, they are really terrified of the Shia. You, you see, that's why they are holding hands with Israel. Not because they love the Jews, but the Shia are coming. And when the Shia come, the Muslim Sunni run. You love my view of politics? I, you know, I don't give a view, really. I, I did say I report uh, reality. It's not a view. Yesterday, Muhammad was born? Really? I mean, this guy, he is born sometime in December, sometime in November, sometime in October, sometime in February. All of this because of one verse in the Quran. Anyone remember? Which verse? Do you know why the Muslim uh, calendar is very, uh, very stupid? <laughs> you know, Muhammad, because he, he want to make himself uh, like he's not copying others, you know, because people accuse him, to, he, he's copying. So he decide to come with something new, brother. What is that? Well, I'm not going to fix the calendar. The Arab, they used to fix the calendar. They copy that from the Jews. When you use the lunar calendar, you, you know you have to uh, you have to fix it. Otherwise, it's wrong. Otherwise, November will come in December, and December will come in uh, January, and January will come in July. This is why, if you check the birth of Muhammad, you will find it change every few years. Every year, actually, not every few years. But like the big difference will be found like after five years. So every day, every year, there's 10 days different. All of this because of this verse. Chapter 9, verse number 37. The Arab, they add days to the year to fix it to the calendar. So the month of July will stay July. And the month of August will stay August. Muhammad, he come with this stupid statement. And now they cannot fix the calendar. Missed up. So now July come in December. And the cycle of changing time keep, keep going. So Muhammad sometime is born in July. Sometime he is born in uh, November, sometime it is February. And he claimed that if you change the calendar, fix it, you are a kafir. Genius. That's why we find Islam is very lovable. All right, this time I'm leaving. Don't even try. You post comment, you don't paste comment, you tell me I love you, we love you, that will not work with me. I'm warning you. Oh, Allah, he made a comment. Christian Prince, it is said that no Christians remember Constantine, the kingdom of Jerusalem, and everyone helped Muslims. My friend, I don't know who is the one crying, say free Palestine, not us. And don't worry about Constantinia. If you go right now and check in Turkey how many Muslims left, you will see there's nobody Muslims. Just go, just go, type in YouTube, 
night life in Turkey. Hold on, I'm not going to do that. That will hurt your feeling. I will go, brother, to an Islamic TV in Turkey. Hmm. Yes, brother. This is how the Muslims do da'wah in Turkey. Islamic missionary. <laughs> Uh, I don't want to say to you that I am jealous. Don't take me wrong. But a brother. This is the one who come with the scientific miracle of the Quran. Sheikh Harun Yahya. That is the real missionary religion. Man. Beautiful. Those are his admins, not like mine. Oh boy. Oh boy. And this guy is praising him. Praising him, you know. <laughs> oh boy, look at this. That is religion. That is religion. This is Turkey, brother. Turkey. This guy, his TV station open for half century. And nobody noticed until he speak against Erdogan. Suddenly, he is evil. Suddenly, he is in jail. Brother, I changed my career. I'm going to go to Islamic Turkey TV station, and I want to be a Muslim preacher. Under one condition, all those girls will be working with me in the missionary. No comment. Thank you all for being here. Time to do a Muslim missionary now for me. Excuse me. I'm getting busy in Turkey. It is a Muslim country. Yes, it's true. Thank you. Don't worry about Constantinia. We will take it back. You see, Jerusalem was lost for 2,000 years. We have it back. Constantinia, we will take it back. It just wait. Even even your stupid prophet, he's oh, you know what, guys, look at this. Look what you just said. Just to show you why Muslims don't dare to call me. Let us say I will go with you. Don't run. Please stay. Huh? Just wait. This is what he said. I, I just copy your text. That's it. You cannot say anything. You're a prophet, he said, prophesying that the time will come and the majority in the world, they will be the Roman. You ask the Muslims, who are the Roman? They say to you, the Christian. <laughs> the stupid Muhammad, you think the Roman, they will be the majority of men? <laughs> He's a true prophet. He's a true prophet, brother. I mean, how he knew? The Roman, they will become the majority of mankind in the judgment day. That must be... Okay, must be a true prophet. Hold on, where? Where the hadith? Where the hadith? Hold on. Uh, okay, hold on. Uh -huh. A room of Look how many how many hadith about the Roman. Oh that let me find the exact hadith. Now he will say my prophet he make poo poo. I agree. And remember, that will happen in the time of the hour, which means that's it. The majority of mankind, they will be the Roman. According to Muslims, he meant the Christians. But this is very stupid. I mean, the Roman at that time, actually, they have uh, in their army all kinds of people. Not everyone is Christian. Uh, but let us see. 
Yeah. This is my gift for you, Mr. Allah Potato. And then now you will know that if your prophet truly is a prophet, Constantinia and Mecca will be in our hand. In fact, your prophet, he said, in the day, the day of judgment, only dogs, only dogs will attend the Kaaba and they will pee around it. But read with me here. I heard Messenger of Allah saying, the last hour would come when the Roman form the majority among the mankind. This is what? This is the hour. You ask any Muslim, what do you mean by the Roman? The stupid Muhammad, he thinks the Roman will stay the same. You know? They say, no, no, he meant uh, the Christians. Okay, we go with it. The Christians, in the day of judgment, they will be the majority of mankind. And the Muslim will be the minority. May don't believe me? Read the title in my page. Go to my page, YouTube page. Your prophet said, Islam will go back like a snake going inside its hole. Hmm? And faith between Muslims will not be exist no more. I can show you tons of hadith. Anyway, victory by the Lord, and the Lord is our victory. And you might take a land today, but you lost your soul tomorrow. And even the land you will lose. Just look around you. You have no more land. Nothing. In fact, you are a slave of everybody. You are kissing the ass of the Chinese now. Who is next? Who is next? Power and money worshippers. Your money cannot save you. See you soon. God is good. And remember, the Roman will be the majority among the people. Prophet Muhammad is a discover how big Italy is. Yeah.